through all checkpoints in under 20 seconds. Okay, maybe I took too long. Uh, let's make some tweaks. Turning angle. Much, much less. Is it supposed to be reversed? And um, Okay, roll down to the end of the runway. That's it. Right? We did that. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I can't do it like that. Uh, fine. Let's just retry, I guess. I don't know. Okay, we definitely can't go full thrust. I feel like I should just turn the wheels off. Should it be reversed on the left side? Oh, okay. Maybe it should be. Maybe it should be. It should be. Yes. Okay. <laughs> mm. Nose cone taking damage. <laughs> I probably need wheel steering to actually turn around here. Oh boy. The rudder can't do much like this. Ah, okay. Uh, uh. Oh no, it's still turning. <laughs> Great. Okay, 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 okay. You know what? I should have the stability system on right away, maybe. I wonder if I slot. Oh, yeah, I have it on T. Okay. Stability system on. Let's see if that helps. Uh, come on, lock that heading. Lock that heading. Lock it more. <laughs> Top of the runway is skiddier than the bottom, I think. Or I'm about to regret saying that. Okay, there's a checkpoint there, but there's no way I'm gonna make that. <laughs> so that's that's the checkpoint I needed to... I, I didn't even see that because it was hopeless. Okay. Problem is we can't stay straight long enough to actually make that one. I'll just land. I want to recover the value and maybe make some adjustments. Oop. No, keep going. We have to pass the edge. I wish we could get airborne earlier, but, but we only have wheels for thrust right now. Oh boy. I think we probably have parts available though. I should just go with those. Okay, brakes. All right, brakes. Instead of doing this the horrible way, let's add something to it. This is what they wanted us to do, but gosh darn it. We've got the Goblin solid motor. I paid the tech points for it. I'm gonna use it. It's a solid motor, though. Fuel type solid. How long does that last? 87 seconds? No, we don't want it that long. Um, 26 seconds should do the trick for that particular checkpoint. Uh, fine, we'll have a little bit more. There's a lot of thrust weight ratio already. cut down on that. Well, I guess we can wait it out. Oh gosh, we're tail heavy. Oh, okay, stop, 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 stop. I, I didn't want thrust. Planes sure seem more resilient now. I thought they fell apart a lot more often. That's not too bad, but... <laughs>
Okay. Okay, we tried all that. Okay, a little bit of judicious throttle, and let's make sure stability is on. Don't know if it helps much at this point, but... We're gonna go slow off the edge, and then ignite the engine. It's, it's wobbly even here, so... Yep, yep. That's how it is. I need reverse more than I need forward on the wheels. Okay, slowly, slowly. Anything above 10 meters per second on this runway is not a good idea. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Uh, okay, anything more than less than... 10 meters per second. Um, please. Please. No! Okay. Come on. Come on, bird. Come on, bird. No, no. Eat this runway. Okay, go. Oh, well, I need more speed than that. Whoa. I should just put a camera on. Oh, where did the bubble go? Oh, I have to do it within a certain amount of time. Gosh darn it. Well, I can't switch off the solid motor. Okay, it's confused by that, huh? When you do a loop, it's a bit confused. Oh, is it self-writing? The Is the SAS self-writing? I don't know. That's a problem. Oh, it's still running. How long do I have with this engine? It seems to be fizzling out. It's got some sort of thrust curve. Uh Yes, okay good. Good to stay there. Okay, okay, no 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 stop. Okay, I just wanted to recover you. Why don't I just have the small landing gear instead of this crud? <laughs> Let's try and Bring it out here so that we have a wider wheelbase. You now it's behind the center of mass, but just barely. Okay. It's really the runway part. Everything else is fine. Launch graphic seating 15 only because of all the trouble I'm having with this. Okay. S SAS on. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but. Um, did I ignite the engine? I mean, I have to ignite the engines now. It doesn't have thrust otherwise. I guess I should take off and then fly through the ring at the runway's edge, maybe? Yeah, with actual landing gear, it's better, definitely. Uh, I don't even have to worry about that, I don't think. I think I can make it. I think I can make it. I, th I thought I could make it. No, no, go around. No, we're so close. No, why are you going around it? Why are you going around it? Why? Why? Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, no. I can't stop the engine. Oh. 
Oh, oh. <laughs> Why did you systematically go around the darn thing? Can you use brakes here? Oh, good. Do you think that? Maybe I should have nose wheel steering. Please. Okay, good job. Alright, alright, alright. Pull up, pull up. Alright, alright. Uh, fun before you lose your loops. I, I had problems with loops just now. Okay, yeah, I've got no, um, whatever. Just, yeah, I've got that. I don't, <laughs> nav loop, uh, look, I don't need the nav spear to do a loop. Okay. In fact, I, I don't need the, F, the SAS equivalent to do a loop. Loop. See? Alright, finally managed to like a bird thing. At least we didn't lose too much. Managed to recover the craft mostly. Ooh! Yeah, the lock, lock thing doesn't seem to be necessary at all. Honestly, this stuff is... Probably for rockets, it'll be more useful. Okay, where's home? Okay, one more. Oh, there's a big mountain here, though. I don't think I have enough runway. Oh, come on, come on. Uh, not those. Oh, okay. That's. I didn't expect that physics from those things. All right. <laughs> I didn't know that they were a squishy thing as opposed to a ramp. Good to know. Camera with me. Top of the peak. Maybe a plane would be better. But. They're not paying me a whole lot. But then again, the plane is cheaper than the car. I like an engine that I could stop. Stay grounded. Staying grounded for 5 kilometers is tough. Okay, when do we get the rocket contracts? <laughs> um, exploration hasn't started happening yet. Let's just refresh. Vertical shot, okay. We should at least, we did a car, we did a plane, let's do a rocket. That's the command disk, okay. Okay, make it a long fuel tank, all right. Add a nose cone, very important, make it a nice pointy nose cone. And then add an engine. Why does it seem like the control surface is on top of this fin? Okay, resize. Enable the gyro. Gyros are cheating! <laughs> anyway, it says I have to enable the gyro. Okay. Alright, we can launch it. Okay, so vertical shot, 25 kilometers. Well, I trust that it automatically put the fuel in because it didn't tell me anything about that. Won't be able to stop it. Yes, we have extensive experience with solid rocket motors now. Okay, I guess I'll enable the SAS thing. I don't know if it can steer. Well, it's got the fins, but... Okay, yes. Y yeah, okay. We're, we're in the middle of launch. Come on. You should have told me this earlier. 
Oh, I'll, I'll do the things. Yeah, the Nazphere. Rotation of the planet. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's not how I'm going to steer this thing. Uh, I'll keep the lock current heading thing though. Okay, well we should do 25 kilometers. Apoapsis is not quite in Drew space. Thirty kilometers. No need to survive this one. Thank goodness, because boy, did they not prepare us to survive this. I can't time warp more than two X. Outside the atmosphere. I thought it used to give us 4x. Oh, you certainly are gonna crash 500 meters away, at least. I guess the bubble is the 500 meter range. Okay. Good times. No need to retry in flight. Oh, right, yep. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I should go to the tech tree. Shockingly fast. Mach point one. I, I swear we've done that. Okay, but hold on a sec. Let me see what other contract areas we can... I have figured from my previous playthrough that we should always prioritize these new contract ones, so I'm just going to do that. we got to do two at the top and two at the bottom. So we're going to end up with a gnome engine. And at the bottom, well, these don't have any contract. But this, that's the next one that has a contract. I guess we'll unlock that. There's also just a regular progression. Well, I don't have enough to unlock that. Guess I should unlock static electricity. There's these middle ground ones. Let's also catch them all with the parachutes. Parachutes seem important. Blocks don't. Enable map view depends. Max contracts offered. Oh, we could get more offered contracts. Don't know what the default is. Maybe we should just get max contract offer uh contracts offered six. Apparently it seems to be giving me three, which isn't much. Flight termination system. Now you're talking. Select your command this and blow up the craft before it gets too low. That seems straightforward, doesn't it? <laughs> Going high. 80 kilometers. Let's just do both of these. Fly horizontally. I think I could get the rocket to fly horizontally. The holding speed is tough. Okay, we'll just go for this flight termination and going high. So we need to go a little bit higher. Flight termination is trivial. We can do with less gyro. Probably less battery. Better nozzle? No. Okay. Um, do I think that that's enough to get us to the right height? Two kilometers per second. We were at 58 kilometers last time. Oh, launch with a payload. Oh, I missed the payload. Oh, okay. That's more complicated. Sounding rocket payload. Okay. Well, we can just replace that with that then. The drop-in replacement. It's fine. Just a little bit less delta V. Okay. Now let's try it. 
Okay, now they're okay, and let's... I guess I'll have that on, and go. That's... Not what I was expecting from an S uh, SRB. That was a long spool up time. Considering there's a solid rocket motor. Now we'll be nice and go away from the village, even though we're going to flight terminate it. Okay, what's the apoapsis? I don't know. Last little bit counts for a lot though. Okay, but I'm not blowing it up yet. Stop. <laughs> we will do it. We will make sure it's blown up before 30 kilometers, that's fine. Oh no! Come on! No, come on! Ah, 78! 78, so close. Well, anyway, at least we get to blow it up. It's fine. In fact, let me just blow it up now. Let's not waste time. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to blow it up. Okay, flight termination successful. Alright, so we have to give it... We don't have... Yeah, we do have to carry the payload, so we do have to give it a little bit more boost. Going sideways. Crash at least 30 kilometers. Well, we don't have to do flight termination, so we can do that. Okay, so we'll, we'll definitely accept that. And so we'll do these two. 30 kilometers away, 80 kilometers up. I could use... we've re already unlocked the, um, the Gnome engine, so we could use that, but I'll stick to the solid. Okay, I'm gonna have less gyro. Okay, let me take that. We were only a little bit shy after all. Alright, SAS on, or whatever it's called, stability current lock current heading is on and go long long wind up now we have to get 30 kilometers away but I don't want to really do too much of that it shouldn't be too hard I'm really trying to get the minimal sort of system in order to fulfill this. And maybe that's not such a good idea. 60. Seventy. Oh no. Not again. No! <laughs> Why do I keep doing this to myself? Well, let me get the 30 kilometers, maybe. What's with me and 78 kilometers in altitude? Okay, I'm trying, I'm gonna try and get some lift. <laughs> Let's go horizontal. We haven't reached Apoapsis yet. We've almost covered half the distance. Well, 2x. Give it all it's got. Should be able to get 30 kilometers. I swear if I'm two kilometers shy of this one as well, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> I'll definitely use the liquid motor. Okay, well, no need to survive this one. We're probably not gonna survive this one, but we'll... I don't think it's actually keeping track of the distance anymore, oh well. I I want better explosions. Come on, people. Wet rockets? Yes, I guess that means liquid. No, we might as well do that at the same time as going high. Drop in any ocean. Oh, I thought they meant liquid, but okay. Well, if we go high, we should end up at an ocean, so that's okay. We haven't unlocked map view though. Maybe we should unlock map view first. 
Or did we? Novice managers. Oh, it did enable map viewer. There's no place like Gnome. Okay, Carolox is already in. Um, doesn't get a whole lot of extra Delta V. And it costs a lot more. Maybe that's not such a good thing. 2.13. Environment vacuum. Well, that's a little bit more. How is, it's got a lot of ISP, but I guess the density is not there. But 31,000. Okay, well, that's more Delta V than we had before. Silver bullet. They're all sort of silver bullets. Anyway, okay, so the problem is, um, actually, we're not in a good place to launch towards ocean. Best bet is actually to go that away. Does that count as an ocean? Well, it says water. It doesn't say ocean. So, okay. That's the closest water. You have the payload. Okay. Let's let's go that away. Yep. Right. I don't think we'll get far enough though. Oh, I like how it starts out like it's a solid rocket. That's handy. Maybe height is a better bet than horizontal though. Okay, anyway, we're wobbling. I don't think we're gonna get to that water. Sort of wobbling there. We gotta impact over there. Okay. With this one, we don't have to carry the payload, so it'll be a little bit lighter. Okay, so we've got the altitude record, and shall we follow this? Is it? It's probably just gonna end up there. I guess we'll see. Ah, we've got space-time warp here, and it's curbled. <laughs> it decided to hop. <laughs> it survived. It did that. It litho braked. Whatever you want to call this. I'm impressed. I think I think I think I should uh conclude this particular session of Juno New Origins with this remarkable survival of this rocket except for two fins. 30,000 recovery bonus even though it's 102 kilometers away.